Armored Warfare's player versus environment mode is not only good for grinding experience points, it's a great way to learn weak spots, develop playstyles, and practice small scale squad tactics. But even if you're playing alone, the wide range of engaging missions with varying objectives can be a lot of fun, regardless of the tier you're playing. You may be under the impression that fighting against computer opponents would be nothing short of a pushover, but the bots can give you a run for your money, especially on hard difficulty. Boss vehicles, denoted by their yellow tag, can be especially challenging, and often require cooperation with your teammates. Here are five tips that can enrich your PvE experience, and help you overcome what the vast armies of mercenary tankers will throw at you out on the battlefield. Don't underestimate your opponents. Just like in PvP, there's no reason to give the enemy more of a chance than they deserve. While AI opponents aren't usually as artful as their human counterparts, you're vastly outnumbered, and often the enemy will be equipped with vehicles better than your own. Pace yourself. It can be beneficial to deal with the threats in one part of the mission before moving on to the next, even if the mission's objectives don't involve defence. Rushing forward and ignoring enemies will almost certainly cause you problems later. Progressing across the map spawns more enemies in many situations, so it's best to methodically clear out each pocket of resistance before advancing further. In many missions, entering a capture circle will spawn a large number of enemies. If there are friendlies lagging behind, it doesn't hurt to postpone entering the objective to allow your teammates to get into position. Use your field maintenance kit strategically. The field maintenance kit instantly restores 20% of your vehicle's health and replenishes all ammunition. You might take a nasty hit shortly after starting a mission and feel the urge to use the kit straight away, but to get the most out of the kit, it's single use after all, is to wait until you've expended some ammunition as well. If you run out of shells and you've already used your kit, you won't be dealing any more damage, which is especially bad if you're the last player left. On the other hand, don't feel the need to use the kit for the sake of it. If you're sure you're going to finish the mission without needing it, feel free to save your credits and not use it. Communicate with your teammates. The enemies may be bots, but the friendlies aren't. Communication is very important, especially if you have friendly artillery. They can be very helpful with completing secondary objectives, and with so many guns pointed at you, their smoke and illumination shells are more helpful than ever. Play your role. Each vehicle type has a place in PvE as much as it does in PvP, whether it's soaking up damage, scouting and spotting, or providing the firepower to crack up opponents, it's vital to play your vehicle to its strengths to maximise your chances of a successful mission.